is how to light pellet stove. Cleaned out the inside of it. You're gonna come over here, make sure the stove's plugged in. Push the on button. It's gonna say HR1, and it's gonna go into the light sequence. Start dropping pellets into the burn pot, as you can see. If you look down there, there's a small little hole. That's the igniter. That's where the little thing that sticks out there gets glowing red and that eventually lights and ignites the pellets. So we're going to wait for that happen to happen. Uh, it's probably going to be maybe about five minutes or so. Um, occasionally a couple of them will miss the pot when they come down, but those will just get vacuumed out next time you clean your stove. Also want to make sure the door is closed. Um, usually these stoves, if this lid's open, the pellet feeder will stop so you can't get your fingers taken off, but that ended up becoming an issue because I wanted to put more pellets than it held so they would actually stack over the top a little bit. So this is just glued down the safety switch there. But as you can see, it still closes and it doesn't affect anything. Okay. I'm just pulling up a chair. You want to watch it because once it gets to like three quarters, there's no point of it wasting pellets and making a big, huge lighting fire. So once it gets to a certain point, I'll show you, you usually just press the auger delay until the lighting sequence is completed. Pellets are just starting to cover the igniter hole. Also want to make sure that burn pot is sitting there properly. Um, make sure the igniter lines up with the hole and make sure all the air holes on the bottom of the burn pot are clean. Usually, you know, I clean that thing out with a wire brush from all the built up burnt pellet stuff. And this is the first time it's been lit since, I don't know, the spring. You can see it's just about half full. Um, we'll wait till it gets to maybe three quarters and we'll hit the delay button so it stops feeding pellets, but it still continues to do the light sequence. There's a couple sparks, and you can see that they're sitting all summer, it still works like a charm. Man, that was good. We're at 447. It was just a guess. And sometimes it will fill up with a little bit of smoke, and then once the flame goes, it'll just. None of it goes into your house though, it gets sucked out the exhaust if it's 
hooked up properly. Another thing I didn't think of, these pellets have been sitting in there all summer, so hopefully they're still good. I have more if they're not. Come on, there we go. Alright. As you can see, we're lit. It's still not completed though, it has to get to a certain temperature before the fans will turn on and the stove's actually considered running. So right now we're almost three quarters. Now I'm going to hit, come over to the side here and I'm going to hit auger delay and that keeps it from overflowing with pellets until it's completely lit. So we're just going to wait here and you'll know when it lights because the fan will turn on and start blowing hot air. As of right now, the fans aren't on. It's just doing completing the light, lighting sequence. You will get like a teeny, teeny bit of smell, but I think once it kicks on, it totally sucks everything out. And that could be because the gasket needs to be replaced too on the door. I think it still functions properly. It's just starting to fray a little bit, and you can tell it's, you know, for probably the $20 it costs, it's worth doing it. Okay, the auger delay I believe is one or two minutes. It's dropping pellets again. Um, I believe it's still full enough, as you can see. So I'm gonna hit the delay button again. Which we're doing right there. see there's still pellets in there it's just you know it's got to get hot enough to where the sensor inside reads it's hot enough and then it will start feeding pellets and turn the fans on but we hit the delay because we don't want it to overflow and make a big mess in there and this probably the brand of and kind of pellets you use will affect this. I would recommend Green Gold or PWI are my two favorites. Um, I would stay away from the softwood. I don't see, I don't think they, I think they burn up quick and I believe they actually dirty your stove a lot quicker. So I would recommend the hardwood pellets. To the left of the burn pot there, that's just burnt up ash pellets. They drop down into there. And actually those two little doors come off of there and you clean out behind them with the ash vacuum you clean under here under this whole thing there's slots under there and the pot actually comes out you clean and then also up top there's a ledge and then um, on this side of the top of the door there's two ledges here and here inside you just make sure you get all the ashes and clean all that fun stuff out So the flames dying down a little bit. There's a pile of pellets towards the front. They'll probably fall backwards and it'll kick up again. Let's see if the auger delay is still on. It is not. And sometimes after the second push on the lighting sequence, it won't kick on again or it will take a few minutes to do it. You can hear a change now. That's just the stove trying to um, perk up the flame to get the the lighting sequence complete and it's starting to drop more pellets again. I'm probably going to hit the delay again. There's no sense in wasting pellets. I think it will kick on any minute here. So we hit delay one more time, auger delay.
and start to feel the heat from it. You can hear the fans kind of stoking the pot. Just briefly turning on and off. And there it is. A little dusty. First start up. <laughs> okay, so so now your your stove is running. It's on auto. It's on heat range one. If you want to turn your room fan down so it you know it blows less, you can adjust it, and you can go back to auto. Um, we're going to keep it on probably six right now. The draft fan auxiliary, I leave alone. Heat range, you go one through five. The higher the heat range, the more heat it's going to put out and the more pellets it's going to use. Usually when it's really, really, really cold out, if you put it on uh, room fan nine, heat range three, um, that definitely, you know, kicks out some heat. It heats my whole 2,800 square foot house at, at that. Um, so you can see here there's not too many pellets in there so it overflows um, but if you hit the auger delay it actually could burn out it could you know not feed pellets in time um, so if it's less than half full when it's lit there I would probably just leave it and keep an eye on it for five minutes and then you know you can walk away and let it run for four days straight if you want um, you just got to keep you know feeding the pellets in you just open this baby up and throw a bag in there and this holds three bags um, I think that's basically all you need to know on how to run the pellet stove. Um, I have the booklet with it. And again, like I said, if you want more heat, um, you just basically, you know, turn it up from the one setting to the two or to the three, depending on the heat range. And then just keep an eye, like I said, right after the lighting sequence is the only time, just keep an eye on um, how many pellets are in the, the pot there because you don't want it to overflow and, you know, make a big mess. Um, but honestly right now it looks like it's good to go and I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes and that is it.